so you've heard about trading in or selling your old phone to pick up a few bucks, but you're not exactly sure how to get started, not a problem. I'm Jessica Dalcourt with CNET with some tips on how to sell your old phone for some additional pocket change. The first step is to round up what you've got. It may be just one phone that you're planning to replace with a newer model or a whole horde of ancient devices gathering dust in the back of your closets and drawers. New phones are, of course, the most valuable, getting you up to $350 for the latest hotness. If you've got a pile of old phones and newer devices, then you may wind up selling them in different ways. Lasso up those chargers and boxes too, because you can get rid of them as well. First, let's talk about trade-ins. Almost every carrier offers a trade-in or resale program of some sort, and that's because there's a valuable secondary market for refurbished phones and parts. So do research selling your phone, even if it is damaged. Sometimes your carrier will offer a trade-in deal tied to the promotion of a new phone. Most of the time, you'll go to loan through a provider's dedicated website. The good news is you can resell devices from any carrier, searching for the name of the phone and answering questions about the condition of the phone to determine the handset's trade-in value. However, there is one limitation of a carrier site, and that is the fact that you'll receive a carrier gift card as compensation instead of cold hard cash. Another option is to sell your stuff online. There are a ton of websites that specialize in selling old electronics, and they work just about the same way that the carrier websites work, except that you'll get a cash card instead of carrier credit. Be careful though, because not every website accepts every phone, especially older models. It also helps to know the product's full name. If it's a smartphone, knowing the storage capacity will help accurately price your particular model if the phone sells with more than one storage option. For example, 16 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes. More intrepid sellers should consider Craigslist or eBay. You can often sell phones at higher prices and negotiate directly with buyers. But unlike some of the websites, a phone you sell yourself absolutely needs to be in good working condition. Clean the phone, nestle it in its original packaging if you can, throw in the charger in a case, and make sure it is fully charged before you box it up. If you don't want to deal with shipping, and if you're planning to be in a shopping mall anytime soon anyway, you could take your phone to one of the many eco ATMs across America. Eco ATMs are small kiosks that automate the entire phone sale transaction and they pay you in cash. You'll need your thumbprint and ID for security purposes, but the kiosk will spit out at least a dollar for your dead and broken phone, often much more for a newer device. Retail shops like Best Buy will also buy back some devices in person. You should check in at the customer service desk to get started. If you don't have an eco ATM near you and you can't sell your decrepit phone or other electronic device, Donate it to a recycling program. Electronic devices contain toxic chemicals that you do not want leaking into groundwater, so you never, ever, ever want to throw them away. Luckily, most online resale outfits will offer to take your phone off your hands, even if they don't give you a dime in return. Best Buy stores also have recycle bins as you walk in. Specific cell phone charities like Hope Phones are other options, as are local area outlets like Green Citizen here in San Francisco. However, if you look hard enough, you should be able to sell that phone for at least a buck. Definitely spend 30 minutes comparing buyback prices across the different websites. You may find an up to $50 swing on certain phones. If you're smart, make Eco ATM your last stop so you can compare the prices it offers to your other quoted choices. Then sit back and let the bucks roll in. For even more great tech tips, check out CNET How To. I'm Jessica Dalcourt, and thanks for watching.